Welcome to the 1997 High School Challenge, brought to you by KCRG TV9. And now, here's your host, Denny Frary. And good morning and welcome. We have an enthusiastic crowd here and we're ready to go with the KCRG TV9 High School Challenge. Two wonderful teams have made it to the Final Four and they are Regis and Kennedy High Schools and uh, I am anxious to see who's just going to come out on top in this one. Let's meet the teams. First of all, the team from Regis High School. Let me introduce you to the sophomores. They are Mark Bartlemay and Melissa Ballard and Mark Hardinger. The juniors are Josh Visnapu, Mark Murphy, Peter Wright, and Nick Pelzell. And the seniors are John Hanley, Scott Femler, Matt Volk, and Barry Ahern. The assistant is Anna McCauley. The coaches, Kevin McCollum and Sarah Elizabeth McCollum. Please give a warm greeting to Regis High School. Nice to have you here. They are in too, hey, we like to see that. Now the team from Kennedy High School has made it to the Final Four and will oppose Regis. Let's meet them now. The sophomores are Robert Channon, Aaron McGowan, and Gavin Poindexter, and Tom Waller. The juniors are Fletcher Bain, Patrick Brahaney, and we've got Pete Waller and Kevin Way. The seniors are Tom Bednar, Brian Johnson, and Adam Sorensen. The coach is Joyce Gaddy, and that's the team from Kennedy High School. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Now I want to tell you we have a judge for this program that I think is the finest in America. He's completing his 29th year at Cedar Rapids Co. College. His word is law on this show. Please say hello to Jack Laugan. Jack, good to have you with us. Now what are the teams playing for? Well, thanks to KCRG TV9, no team will leave empty handed, but the ultimate prize, the grand prize, aside from the honor of it all, of course, is $1,500 towards the ultimate champion school for their computer equipment. So we're looking forward to it. We've got Regis and Kennedy ready to go in the KCRG TV9 High School Challenge. Don't go away. The first round is coming up. Welcome back. This is a semi-final matchup between Kennedy and Regis, and we're just about to start to see who goes into the final round, the championship match of next week. So this is going to be kind of exciting. Now, the rules of the game are very simple here on the High School Challenge in that I will ask a question. The first team to ring their bell will get an opportunity to answer. If they do so correctly, here in the first round, they win five points, and then I will ask another question for a bonus, and they can then win, with a correct answer, another five points. If, however, the first team ringing the bell answers incorrectly, I will turn to the other team and complete the question if needed. But anyway, they have a chance for five points on the toss-up and five points on the bonus. So we're ready to go here, Regis and Kennedy, and we're here in the final four. Exciting stuff. Here's the first question. The category is directors. The United States Marine Band has had several directors since it was founded in 1798. Certainly the most famous of these, and we go over here to uh, Regis and John. John Philip Sousa. John Philip Sousa is right, and that's five points. Five points for Regis High School. Here's the chance for a bonus and another five points. Electoral votes. What is the minimum number of electoral votes that one state may have? Here on the bonus, they can confer. Five seconds, John? Three. Three is right. And another five points for Regis High School. So, Regis on top, 10 to nothing is the score. Here we go with the next category on the toss-up. Milk additives. What vitamin is added to milk to, and we go over here to Fletcher and Kennedy. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is right, five points for Kennedy High School. To prevent rickets is what we were aiming at. All right, you've got five points. You can tie the game with the correct answer now. Shakespearean figures. What figure of speech does Shakespeare use repetitively in this passage from Romeo and Juliet? Oh, heavy lightness, serious vanity, misshapen chaos of well-seeming forms, feather of lead, bright smoke, cold fire, sick health. Brian? Oxymoron. Oxymoron, and you've got five more points. You nailed it. <laughs> Ten points apiece. So we're off and running. We've had no incorrect answers yet. I kind of expected that. 
Idiomatic expressions, the category on the toss-up. What three names are all included in the idiom that means anybody at all? And John for Regis. Tom, Dick, and Harry. Is right. Five more points for Regis. Tom, Dick, and Harry. Thought somebody would trip over that, but they sure didn't. So here's your bonus chance now. Marathon running. At about mile 18 or 20, most marathon runners feel they simply cannot go any further. Their reserves are gone, their strength is gone, they are nauseous, their legs are in pain. What is the three-word phrase for this point in a race? And Josh? Hit the wall. That's acceptable. Or hitting the wall, that's five points for me. 20 to 10, Regis ahead by 10 right now. Here's the toss-up category, governments. What form of government comprised over 60% of the world's governments in 1900, but only 5% of the world's governments by 1987? And we go to John Regis. Monarchy. Monarchy is right again, another five points. Monarchy used to be popular, I guess you could say. Here's the... Uh, Category now for your bonus, courts. Sometimes the inmates of jails and prisons maintain informal courts to pass judgment on their peers, their own peers. What is the name of such courts reminiscent of an Australian marsupial? Players can confer. Uh, Buzzer beat it, I'm sorry, but the answer was kangaroo courts, kangaroo courts. The uh, score is 25 to 10, though. Regis ahead by 15 points. The next toss-up for you now. Voting is the category. In 1872, she was fined $100 for voting. I will never pay a dollar, she said. And John for Regis? Susan B. Anthony. Is right. Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> Thirty to ten, the score. You could make it thirty-five with a right answer here on the bonus for Regis. Electrical costs. If you are paying fifteen cents per kilowatt hour, what does it cost to keep a one hundred watt light bulb burning for five hours? John. A dollar fifty. I'm sorry. The answer is seven point five cents. Seven point five cents. But nevertheless. Well, <laughs> you were close. <laughs> 30 to 10 the score, folks. Here's the, uh, here's the next one. Historic refusals on the toss-up. Historic refusals. Sir Thomas More refused to acknowledge what king and John Regis? Henry VIII. Henry VIII is right as king of England. Well, I'll tell you, Regis is very impressive here in the opening here, and now let's go to the bonus for you. Wars is the bonus. In 1946, Ho Chi Minh began a war in Indochina against what European country? John. France. France. Another five points for Regis. <laughs> Score is 40 to 10 right now. Here's the next toss-up. Erroneous predictions. Who incorrectly made this prediction? The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. And John Regis? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is right. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln said that. Well, here's your bonus. This is luck of the draw having to do with Lincoln. Acting is the category. An actor versed in another's part, ready to fill in if needed, is called an... John? Understudy. Understudy. Another five points for Regis High School. Well, you're off and running here. It's 50 to 10 now. Reflexes. What three-syllable term indicates any reflex which is not inborn or inherited? John again, Regis. Voluntary. I'm sorry, that is not right. Voluntary, so we go over here to Kennedy. You have five seconds. Fletcher. Involuntary? No, I'm sorry, it's conditioned. We were looking for the word conditioned. So here we go to the last toss-up now, the last toss-up question of the first round. Anthems. What is the title of the British national anthem? And Josh, Regis. God save the queen. God save the Queen is right. Five points for me. So, 
You're ahead 55 to 10 now, and you could make it 60 with this bonus as we close off the first round. Bird politics. The name of what bird is applied as a slang expression to a politician who opposes war or aggression? They seem to know it, John. Dove. Dove is right again, another five points. Well. That was indeed impressive. The score is Regis 60, and we've got Kennedy in with 10. But a lot can change in the second round when the point totals double. We'll be back to see what happens after this tribute to Regis High School. We'll be right back with more of the High School Challenge. Don't go away. Supporters are having a good time, and uh, well, they should because right now Regis has a 60 to 10 lead over Kennedy. But we're now going into round two here of the semifinal matchup in the high school challenge, and it's very important because the point totals double. And by that, I mean each toss up is now worth 10 points, and each bonus is worth 10 points. So a lot can change, and of course, the history of this series is that it often does. So let's, uh, let's go. Kennedy and Regis, here we go. Round two. The category for the toss up the Declaration of Independence. The committee that drafted the Declaration of Independence presented it to the President of the Congress. Name that, and we go to Mark for Regis. John Hancock. John Hancock is right. Ten yeah. points for Regis. <laughs> the name said honorous with signatures, John Hancock. All right. Acid and hydrides. Carbon dioxide, now this is your bonus. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to yield what kind of acid? Oh. The buzzer beat the... Uh, Sorry, no. it was carbonic acid. The buzzer did beat you, but it was carbonic acid. But nevertheless, you gain, uh, you gain 10. Now it's 70 to 10. Here's the next category on the toss-up, ballets. In what ballet by Tchaikovsky, and uh, we go over here to Tom and Kennedy. Swan Lake. I'm sorry, that is incorrect, so I'll complete the question now for Regis. In what ballet by Tchaikovsky do Red Riding Hood and Cinderella make their appearances? Mark? A Nutcracker. I'm sorry, it's Sleeping Beauty. We're looking for Sleeping Beauty. So, no points there. Now, raids is the category on the toss-up. An American air raid on the home of Libyan strongman and we go to uh, Tom for Kennedy. Muammar Gaddafi. I'm sorry, that's jumping the gun again, but you're entitled to do that, but I have to complete it now for Regis. An American air raid on the home of Libyan strongman Muammar Gaddafi left two American pilots and some civilians dead, including one of the Libyan leader's children. Yet what president's popularity soared after what amounted to an attempted assassination? Mark. Reagan. Or Ronald Reagan, right, 10 points for Regis. I might say that there's nothing wrong with answering early. It's um, sometimes you take a chance on that. Now, here we go with a 10 point bonus try for you. Metaphoric adjectives, metaphoric adjectives. The lines in a worried forehead resemble the grooves in the earth made by a farmer's plow. What adjective describes such a brow? Scott. Furrowed. Furrowed is right again, another 10 points. So you're up to 90, it's 90 to 10, but Kennedy is certainly not out of it. No way are they out of it. Here's the next toss up now. Public punishments. It is a wooden framework on a post with holes for the head and hands. And Patrick for Kennedy. Pillory. Pillory is right, 10 points for Kennedy. That's what we were looking for. Eye problems now the category on your bonus, Kennedy. Eye problems. Which structure in the eye becomes opaque when a person has cataracts? Tom. Cornea. I'm sorry, it's the lens. The lens is what we wanted, but you gained 10. It's now 90 to 20. Here's the category on the toss-up, singing. What three-syllable term indicates an artificial method of singing used by male choirs and uh, Scott for Regis? Falsetto. Falsetto is right. Very impressive. <laughs> to get above their normal vocal range. Well, you made it to 100, and now you could go to 110. Here's the bonus. 
Earnings, a share paid to a writer or composer out of the proceeds resulting from the sale or performance of his or her work is called a... Scott. Royalty. Royalty is right again. That's what we're looking for. Recent tragedies now on the toss-up. Recent tragedies. Identify the member of the Clinton cabinet who was killed, and we go to Tom Kennedy. Ron Brown. Ron Brown is right. Ten more points for Kennedy High School. Bonus time for Kennedy now. It's 110 to 30. Sentence types. Classify this sentence by its structure. I hate to spread rumors, but what else can one do with them? Tom. Acceptable. Acceptable compound sentence, right. And you thought you might have been guessing there. <laughs> okay, it's 110 to 40. Here's the next toss up. Unusual tours, unusual tours in what Eastern European country is it possible to take Dracula tours? And Tom for Kennedy. Romania. Romania is right again. There's another 10 for Kennedy. Well, your bonus chance now. Uprisings. The 1956 Hungarian uprising was crushed by the military forces of what country? Tom again. USSR. That's acceptable. Or Soviet Union, another 10 points. Well, Kennedy is coming on like gangbusters now. They've closed the gap to 110 to 60. The category, political positions. What ism indicates the foreign policy that American interests are best served? And we go to Tom for Kennedy. Isolationism. Is right and very impressive, isolationism. Well, here's the bonus chance for you. Athletes, in just three hours, she won three gold medals for the U.S. at the 1932 Olympics, setting world records in the 80-meter hurdles, javelin throw, and high jump. Name this gifted athlete who went on to help found women's professional golf. Tom. Wilma Rudolph. I'm sorry, not a bad guess, but it was Babe Dickinson Zaharias. Babe Dickinson. This is the last toss-up now. Uh, it's 110 to 70, so Kennedy is really caught up in a hurry here. Kings is the category. Identify the British king involved in the abdication crisis, and we go to Tom for Kennedy. Edward VIII. Edward VIII is right. Ten points for Kennedy. <laughs> this is really quite a remarkable comeback. It's now 110 to 80. You could close it to within 20 with the right answer here as we close off round two. Words to live by. What part of speech is the last word in this quote by Mark Twain? Let us endeavor so to live that when we come to die, even the undertaker will be sorry. Tom. Ad adverb. I'm sorry, it's an adjective. Happens to be an adjective. But the score is 110 to 80, and so here comes Kennedy. This is going to be a very interesting final round, the valedictorian round, to see who makes it into the final matchup. So we're looking forward to it. We'll have this tribute to Kennedy High School, and we'll be right back on the High School Channel. Don't go away. Welcome back to the KCRG TV9 High School Challenge. We expected a heck of a matchup today, and we certainly are getting it. We've got Regis and Kennedy locked in a titanic struggle right now. The score is 110 to 80, and right now Regis has the lead. But now, folks, we are going into the valedictorian round. And what that means is I will ask the question. The first team that rings the bell will get an opportunity to answer. If they do so correctly, they win 15 points. If they do so incorrectly, they lose 15 points. In other words, we take 15 away from them. So it is 110 to 80, and this should be a rather interesting final round to see who makes it into next week's championship. Here we go. The category on the first question here is botany. What adjective that rhymes with a word meaning you are late indicates that a plant has a high tolerance to coal? And we go to Tom Kennedy. Hardy. Hardy is right. 15 points for Kennedy. So suddenly it's 110 to 95, and Kennedy's closed it even further. Conspirators. What other conspirator had already been dead for months when these people were hanged in 1865? Mary Surratt, David and Tom for Kennedy. John Wilkes Booth. Is right again, 15 more points. 
<laughs> Folks, we now have a tie game. It is 110 apiece. Kennedy and Regis tied up. Here's the next question. Attacks. He played 18 holes of golf, had a grilled hamburger at 2.30 at the Cherry Hills Country Club near Denver, and then played nine more. That night, he awoke with a heart attack that clipped $14 billion off Wall Street stock prices. Name this president. Players have five seconds, cannot confer. Buzzer sounds, it's Dwight D. Eisenhower was the president. Historic events. This passage is about an event in what colonial American city? They mustered upon Fort Hill to the number of about 200 and proceeded to Griffin's Wharf where Hall, Bruce, and Coffin lay, each with 114 chests of the ill, and we go to uh, Robert for Kennedy. Boston. Boston is right, and Kennedy takes their first lead of the game. So Kennedy now out in front. We'll see what Regis can do about that now. Poems. Who, according to Longfellow, uttered these words? John Alden, you have betrayed me. You who have fed at my board and drunk at my cup to those keeping I have entrusted my honor. Let there be nothing between us save war and implacable hatred. Danny, please toss the question out. You mis uh, misused one word that was key to the... Raised. Okay, time was sticking away anyway there. Thank you, Judge. It is 125 to 110. Injuries. What is a one syllable synonym for a contusion? And Robert for Kennedy. Bruce. Say that again. Bruce. Bruce is right. 15 more points for Kennedy. <laughs> killing is the category. The killing of a person for defensible reasons is what kind of homicide? And we go to Tom for Kennedy. Justifiable. Justifiable is right again. Another 15. Kennedy on a roll, no question about it. Harry's songs, according to Stephen Foster, what was the color of Jeannie's hair? Light and brown. Uh, Robert. Light brown? Light brown is right. I dream of Jeannie with a light brown hair. Well, pretty good lead now for Kennedy, but it's not over. Checks and balances. What three-word phrase in Article II of the U.S. Constitution gives the Senate the right to approve treaties and appointments made by the President? There's the buzzer, advice and consent. Fractions now, 170 to 110, Kennedy in the lead. Fractions, what is the name for a fraction whose numerator and or denominator is a fraction? And Pete for compound. Kennedy. Fraction, a compound fraction. I'm sorry, the answer is complex fraction. Complex, you're so close, but we have to take away 15. So you go down to 155 now. Voting, black men gained the right to vote through the 15th Amendment, but black women could not vote until, and we go to uh, Tom for Kennedy. 19th. 19th Amendment is right, so you get that 15 points back. German generals is the category. German generals. He was the most popular German general during World War II, but, and we go to Tom for Kennedy. Erwin Rommel. Is right again, another 15 for Kennedy. You're up to 185 to 110. Playtime in the workday. What piece of playground equipment is used as an adjective to define the work shift between the day shift and the graveyard shift? And Matt for Regis. Swing. Is right, swing shift. 15 points. The category artists, these people, this is artists now, these people are all involved in what field of art? Lynn Johnston, Gary Trudeau, Gary Larson, and we go to Tom for Kennedy. Cartoons. Cartoons or cartooning, you're right, 15 points for Kennedy. <laughs> Variables is the uh, question now. What do mathematicians call this type of equation? N plus N equals 2N. What do they call that? We go to Robert. First, uh, first degree equation? I'm sorry, it's identity. We were looking for identity. So we have to take 15 away from Kennedy, but they still have that lead. The eyes. What adjective indicates the eye to which a person unconsciously gives preference? And uh, Pete for Kennedy. Dominant. Dominant is right again. So. You're ahead by the score of 200 to 125. Here's the next uh, category. We have one minute to go in the game. Meteorological instruments. A device used to indicate wind direction that consists of a mounted cone open at both ends is called a... And Peter for Regis. Weather vane? 
I'm sorry, it's a wind sock or a wind sleeve, so we have to take 15 away. Musical compositions, what term indicates a musical composition for five voices or instruments? And Matt for Regis. Quintet. Quintet is right, 15 points for Regis. <laughs> last battles, last battles. April 1st, 1995 marked the 50th anniversary of the final major battle of World War II when the U.S. invaded what 60 mile Long Island, 350 miles off the coast of, and uh, Matt for Regis. Midway. I'm sorry, is um, Okinawa, Okinawa, so we take 15 away. Work systems. In mechanical engineering, what kind of systems use the pressure of a liquid to perform mechanical work? And Pete for Kennedy. Hydraulic, Hydraulic is right, 15 more points. <laughs> last question of the game now, last question. Unusual, unusual multiplication. Multiply the rent for a hotel on Boardwalk in Monopoly by the number of handles on a goblet. Matt, Regis. 500. I'm sorry, the answer is zero. No handles on a goblet, I guess. So that's, that's all we have time for, but the score is uh, Regis coming in with a score of 95, and Kennedy has 215, so congratulations to Kennedy High School. And you, of course, are in next week's final matchup, but Regis High School, thanks to KCRG TV9, will leave with $500 for Regis High School for computer equipment. How about a nice hand for Regis High School? A heck of a team. They really are. But uh, Kennedy's going to be tough, and next week we'll find out because they're in the championship game. So congratulations to all the players, and it was nice being with you all. And uh, a great studio audience we had today, I'll tell you. Next week, the final, the championship round. We'll see you then. Stay tuned to TV9.